Lissa Productions. In lab one, we're going to be measuring the IV curves of various components. That's what's indicated here by X. We have this circuit with a variable DC power supply, one kilo ohm resistor to protect the circuit, a voltmeter to measure the voltage across the component, an ammeter to measure the current through the circuit, and we'll map out the voltage across the component and the current through the component as a function of what we set the voltage at here. So we can produce the IV curve for this. This component's going to be resistors, light bulbs. We're going to demonstrate an LED in the lab, but we'll do an LED, we'll do a, a Zener diode and various other things. So let's step over into the lab now and have a look at this. So in lab one, we're going to be measuring the IV curve of various passive components. In this particular part, I've got a, a blue LED that we'll be measuring the IV curve of. We have a DC power supply that we can go from zero to 15 volts. We'll see how to reverse it to go from zero to minus 15 volts. We have a multimeter here that we'll be using to measure voltage and another one that we'll be using to measure current. And we'll use this, vary the voltage, and map out the IV curve of this, this LED. We're doing it in the lab. We're going to replace the LED with resistors, Zener diode, and light bulbs, and a different color LED as well. So here we have the protoboard with the LED and the resistor hooked up to it and the, basically the power coming from the two banana plugs. We want to plug the power supply into those. It's currently at zero. That's safe. Black goes into black. Red goes into red. We can see the red, the positive, goes to the lower bus and the ground, the black, goes to the upper bus. If we turn the voltage up, the LED lights up. So there's about 12 volts. The LED's lit. We now need to actually go and measure the voltage across that diode and the current through that diode. So we're going to need to modify the circuit slightly to be able to make those measurements. And we'd like to do them from 0 to 15 volts. And we'll probably have less voltage than that across the diode. The rest would be across the resistor. But we're basically interested in the voltage and current on the diode. To measure the voltage, we're going to use the DVM here for set up for voltages. Um, these two cables here. We're going to connect this into the circuit. Remember, black goes to black. The ground side goes to ground, and then the red will be on the other leg of that. Now the voltmeter is hooked up across that. We turn the voltage up, the LED lights up, and we measure a voltage across the, the LED there. As noted, we're going to be measuring that from 0 to 15 volts. And the next thing we'd like to do is to be able to measure the current. So we need to insert the current meter in series with the thing. So I'm going to separate the LED and the resistor in there. Um, pull them out so they're not connected, and I'm going to insert the amp, the, the amp meter in there. So black is going to go on the upper side, red on the lower side to sort of follow our convention there. This is now on the safe mode. It's on 20 amp scale, so I pretty much can't burn that out. Turn the voltage up. You can see a voltage across the LED. It's lit up and a very small current, so that means that things are safe. That means if you turn the voltage down, I can set the current meter onto a scale where I can actually measure something. Let me, let me move the cable. Turn it back up. You see now I'm measuring about 8 milliamps there with 2.9 volts. So now I want to go through and, and basically measure this from 0 to 15 volts, recording both the current in milliamps and the voltage in volts. I also need to go from 0 to minus 15. I'm going to do that by reversing the two things coming out of the power supply. So now when I turn the voltage on, you see the voltage is negative. It's a different negative. And apparently there's a very small current flowing through that LED at this point. So now this is set up. So we've seen how to wire up the circuit to measure the IV curve of various components. Here are the blue LED. It's on right now. There's about 2.8 volts across it, uh, about 10 milliamps running through it. We can adjust the voltage supply to run from 0 to 15 volts. And remember, we talked about reversing these to go from 0 to minus 15 volts. So this lets us map out the component. And we'll replace this blue LED with the various other things that we're going to measure in this lab. In the last part, we measured IV curves of passive components. In this part of the lab, we're going to measure IV curves of active components. The first thing we're going to do is a voltage source, an ideal voltage source, which actually a, a battery is a very good example of that. When you get one of these, make sure you put a new battery in because the one in there may actually be dead. We're also going to turn our DC power supply into a current source. And then we're going to use our DC power supply to power a voltage divider, which we're actually going to put into this circuit. The circuit that we have to measure it involves the potentiometer that we talked about. It's this little three-legged device here with a little adjustable knob that we can turn and a resistor in there to protect things. And basically, we're going to measure the voltage and the current across that potentiometer 
and vary it, and that will let us map out the IV curves of these active supplies. So the circuit to measure the IV curve of various active sources is here. We have our potentiometer in here, which is the three legs. And as you read, read your lab manual, you want to use the center leg and one of the side legs. It doesn't matter which side leg. And we're going to basically adjust the, the resistance by turning the, the potentiometer. We're set up here. We have the current meter in the circuit. We've checked it to make sure that we're OK to be on the to 200 milliamp scale. And we're measuring the voltage across the potentiometer. We now need to put various sources into here. The first one that we're going to put in is the DC source, which is the, vo the DC voltage supply, which we're using a battery. We just hooked it up. We will simply plug it into here. And we'll measure the IV curve by basically varying this resistance and reading the voltage and current across this as we go along. So we'll measure that out there. The second thing we want to do is we want to measure a current source. And to measure the current source, we're going to use our DC supply here to do that. It's a little fiddly to set it up, but not too bad. So we are going to, first of all, we're going to turn this current limit knob all the way up. This doesn't adjust the current. It limits the current. And we're going to use that in this lab. We're going to start by setting this to be 10 volts. So there is. 10.3, very close. Now I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the current limit knob all the way down so it doesn't let any current through. And I'm going to put a 10 ohm resistor into across these two terminals here and tighten that down. And I'm going to set the power supply with the current limit to produce essentially 50 milliamps. So we turn it back on. We haven't touched the 10, the 10 volt thing. We'll put it on current. And now we're going to adjust this knob until we have 0 0.05, which is 50 milliamps. And there we are. It's very sensitive to that. Maybe you get 0 0.06, 0 0.07. Don't do 0 0.5. You'll burn out the resistor, and it will immediately go on the wall of shame. So now this is set up to do 50 milliamps. I'll turn it off. I'm no longer going to touch either of those knobs. So we're going to take this resistor out of here. We're done with it. That's all we needed it for. It's and then we're going to bring that 50 milliamp current supply into our circuit here. Turn it on and do exactly the same thing with the potentiometer that we did last time. Basically measure the IV curve of this current source. The last part of the lab, we basically go back to a DC supply simply with the current limit all the way up again. And we build a voltage divider. So two resistors take the voltage out of the middle, and we use that as the voltage source. So we have a fixed DC voltage of 5 volts into the, into the voltage divider. The voltage divider drives the circuit there. And then we measure the IV curve by adjusting that potentiometer again. So the last part of this lab, we're going to be studying a so-called R2R ladder, which if you look at the circuit in your, in your lab manual, looks like it's a fairly complicated circuit. You can see it wired up here. We're set up with a variable voltage source going in. We're set up to measure the voltage across the last resistor here. I want you, we'll, we'll zoom in on this in a second and look at it, but one thing you can already see is there are very few wires in here. It's advantageous when you're wiring a circuit to use as few wires as possible, because every one of those wire connections is a potential point of failure in your circuit that could cause problems. So here is the R2R ladder that we're going to build in the last part of lab one. You'll notice that other than the two wires bringing the voltage to the buses, I've built the circuit with exactly one wire in it by carefully using the bus for the ground and jumping between the legs of the resistors with those other resistors. So we have the 20 kilo ohm resistors in gray, the 10 kilo ohm in blue, and we can build it with basically no wires. So that's actually a good thing to do, as we noted. So we have this circuit here. We're going to bring the DC power supply into this. And we're going to measure the voltage across the output of this circuit. And at various points, we'll measure current with this circuit. So this is the last part of the measurement here. We'll measure this. And when you're doing this in the lab, you're actually going to measure it as you build it. So we'll start at this end, put in these measure, make some measurements, and add things. You don't want to build the whole circuit initially because then you'll have to take it apart again to actually do your measurements. So in summary, this lab is looking at IV curves of passive elements, active elements, and studying the so-called R2R ladder, which is a fairly complicated circuit with just a bunch of resistors. 
a lot of measurements, voltage measurements, current measurements. Be careful not to burn the fuse out on the current meter. Remember with the voltage supply, you can go from 0 to 15 and then 0 to fi minus 15 by simply reversing these. Go in, make your measurements, make your plots. It should be very good data.